I'm Dee Franken, education consultant, here to give you some tips that will make school selection a far easier process than you may fear. The first thing is to get on top of the bureaucracy. Every local education authority, independent school, faith school and academy has its own rules, regulations and deadlines for admissions. Make sure you know that information well in advance. Be clear about the admissions criteria because appealing for a place at a school can often be a difficult process. Now, if you do not get the first school of your choice and you want to lodge an appeal, do so quickly. Get that application in while you put your child's name down on the waiting list of your preferred school. Gather together information that shows why that school and only that school is going to meet your child's needs and talents. Prepare your document with simple bullet points to make it easy for the appeals panel. The next thing is to have a look at the school's website and prospectus. That's the school's marketing material, and in it they will tell you about their curriculum, extracurricular activities, and the school ethos. See what you think about that. Then have a look at the school's Ofsted report. Ofsted reports are easily found on the internet. The reports can look rather daunting and long, but the sections you particularly want to look at are the ones on teaching and learning. They will tell you what the school does best and what the school needs to do. Make certain that you go to open days and feel free to go more than one, starting quite early if that suits you. The best ones are when school are in action and you can meet the pupils, ask them questions directly. But otherwise, look at the work on the walls. Is it timely? Is it challenging? Is it neatly presented? Speak to pupils who show you around. What is it like being a pupil in this particular school? Does the head seem to have vision? Are the staff professional? All of those things are very important. And then, of course, ask the important questions. What is a school policy on bullying and discipline? What if parents have a concern? To whom is that concern addressed? What kind of pastoral support do the pupils have if they have any concerns or are having a difficulty? Does the school provide ample extracurricular activities and a wide range of non-academic subjects in the curriculum, for example, sport, dance, drama, and music? Are there after-school clubs, lunchtime activities? All those things are very important for your child's activity. And finally, should you be thinking about mixed school, single-sex schools, School that's further away, closer to home. What about joining a sibling? What about twins being separated? At the end of the day, it is your child and your child's needs which are the most important. And what you must choose is the school that you feel is best to fit their needs. That school may be different from the school that their brother or sister goes to, but in fact, it may be the best school for them.